high. I think this is night 10. Of 15 nights of Silent Night, which is a challenge that my students gave to me. version of Silent Night every night. And this one, for this one what I tried to do was a circle of fifths, just keep going around and around, which means it just, um, it goes from E to A to D to G to C to F to B to E to A to D to just goes around and around and I wanted to see if the tune could work with that if the tune would um, if, if it would if it would fit with that somehow so that's what I'm trying to do here
one of the reasons for playing it so slowly is to be able to coordinate the chord sequence with the melody. I already have trouble playing melodies, um, so it's just, to me, this is really fascinating. E minor. So it's just, um, it just keeps, it keeps going around in a circle, E, A, D, G, C, F, B, E, A, D, G, C, F, B, E, A, D, G, C, F, D, B, E, A, D. Somehow it keeps going until it hits that D at the right time, and then it um, and then it can resolve. But it's it took sort of trust of playing it around over and over again to to get that sequence and to just be like, okay, will it will it come to where I want it to come? Yes, it does come there. So that was really um, that was really fun, and to just see like what like will the melody work with that harmony like if if i set up a really sort of a mechanical or a mathematical idea in the beginning rather than rather than you know listening i mean i'm listening while i'm playing but instead of thinking oh what would be a good chord here it's literally like mathematical. It's just going to go here, 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 here. It's going to go around and around and around. And is that going to work? And then what do I, what do I need to do to make it work? And it's really interesting because the first time I play that E, it's an, it's an E minor. This time when I get there, it's an E major. Well, it's an E7 sharp nine, I think. Anyway, so that, that was just so fascinating because that's the one kind of shift that I needed to make to make that work. And then there was this other thing, you know, like I was playing it, but it was really, um, it was really messing with my brain as I was working on it. And then I just started, um, you know, sort of like, oh. antidote for me. Instead of the regular melody, it would be like the B section. So this would be like, um, you'll see when it comes in.
so also to make a, a, a vamp and a fade at the end. So that was the other choice that I had for tonight. And I decided instead to go for sort of the gentle one. But it, um, and, and maybe I'll do this one. I'll work on that one tomorrow and then um, share that one tomorrow night. What I really liked about this one um, is, is that it had its own melody and then it went to, it kind of went to Silent Night as the break. Like as the soft part of the tune. So that was cool. It is just so fascinating. It is so fascinating to watch this tune open up. Or maybe I'm opening up. And um, anyway, it's just, and, and I'm just so loving. I get up in the morning and I've got all these wonderful comments and people have been sharing it. And it's just so, it's such a lovely experience to kind of have a project and be experimenting and, 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 and basically be sharing my results of my experiment. And um, let me just see if you have any questions. Um, that's always cool if I could answer questions. So Gary, hi, Gary. Carrie Ann says, feel so blessed to watch your dynamic creation. Love it. Yay. I'm so glad. It is, I, I, the comments are just so sweet. Um, and as you know, or maybe don't know, I, I didn't really like this song. I, I couldn't really get my head around it. And um, wow. And it's making me think about, I'm not committing to this, but it's just making me think like, hmm, what will I do next? What if I did 30 days of happy birthday? You know, what would happen? What would, what would I discover? Because I gotta say, I feel like I've discovered so, so much. And also just discovered things that I can do. Like this, just even the chord progression that I did tonight. tunes uh, it's just so it's fun and then and then even just the physical things now to that okay anyway I'll write that just getting the physical things um um okay and I'm hilarious 30 days of happy birthday well you know it's just so interesting to see what happens when you think you've come to the end of what you think you can do. And then, and it's like, oh, but wait a second. You know, like, I mean, I haven't even explored, you know, just like, oh God, I can't even think about it. Like, uh, I don't even know. I mean, like, or, or just playing. I don't, just different core, uh, sounds. The other thought I had was, and I have no idea if I could do this, was to just completely like make the, the levers so that the, the heart, like I have no idea what the actual like pitches are because I've just messed them up and then see if I could play as if I was just playing a normal silent night. But um, so like, what would that sound like? Just like, oh, oh, oh. And right now I'm playing the notes, I'm playing the strings that would be an absolutely like straight ahead silent night. But since I've messed with the levers, which change the pitches, so they're all fretted differently, then, um, let me turn this just a little bit. Um, it just, um, uh, like, um, about it 
because you can you can see the shape of the tune it just doesn't have the pitches so and and i mean i'm literally playing i'm what i'm playing is if i put the if i put the levers back i am literally playing something like no 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 not the way it is da, 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 da. oh it's up here That is what my fingers were playing, but the levers were set up differently so that it makes that really strange sound. So that, I mean, that came to me like I was thinking about it in the middle of the night. I was like, ooh, what could I do next? <gasps> I could do that. Um, and I ha also haven't explored like, you know, like just different timbres. Like, well, I have explored some, but like way down here, like. Um, or, or I try, I tried doing it as a blues. I haven't figured out quite how to do that yet. Um, so I just feel like, wow, wow. There's just so much. All right. Let me see if you've got questions here. Um, Carla. Hi, Carla. So great to see you. Um, what is some, it sounds like Beetlejuice is Christmas. Exactly. I um, mean, that's one of the, the, and yet I was playing all the right notes. Yes, yes, like a, I like a guitar sound. So if I could do it kind of up here, you know, um, I just want you to be able to see it. I'm way down near the soundboard. It'd be also cool to do it, like see if I could do it like as, as a music box, like, um, like what would that, what would I have to do to make it sound like a music box? This doesn't qu sound quite like a music box to me. There's usually something kind of, something kind of out of tune about a music box. So that's that's um, that's fun to play with. I don't even know. So anyway, that is why I am loving this project. And like I said, love your comments. Love to see them. I love coming up in the morning and you know saying stuff back. I love it when you share these if you like them. All right. Hi, Carla. Okay. Well, I will see you tomorrow for I believe number eleven. And thank you so, so, so much. This is just, it's just so fun to get to see you every night and do this adventure.